Hey guys, welcome to another training session. Today's training, how to set up Stripe in ClickFunnels. So this is if you're already setting up ClickFunnels to attract clients and to build leads. And Stripe basically, what is Stripe? It's a payment processing system that integrates into ClickFunnels that makes it possible for you to take credit card payments. So this might be your uh, tripwire kind of minor products where you just kind of want to introduce people into who you are by giving them a low dollar value product or it might be a higher um, amount or an ebook that you're selling or a training of some sort, a, a small type of program or even a bigger type of program. So anytime you want to be able to take a payment off the back of your ClickFunnel and integrate it both into your ClickFunnels and then integrate it in, sorry, into your ClickFunnels system and then also integrate it into your actual funnels and create new products and different products um, of different amounts and also subscription models, then this is exactly how you do that. So uh, why might we want to set it up? I mean, the gift says everything. It's money. We can be taking money. Of course, that's the, the obvious first reason. But it's also if we're setting things up, we might be building to um, capturing a larger client or selling products, like I said, as a tripwire. So selling smaller products to build kind of trust in who you are and then to delivering great value to those prospects who then turn around and then become loyal returning customers for your subscription model or for your larger product that may be, you know, thousands of dollars more expensive than your tripwire product. So um, you set up the little product uh, to you know, get the lead in, build that trust and then you can sell a larger product or you can just sell things straight off from your funnels if they are of small value and you've built enough trust to be able to sell to them. So how do we integrate it? The best way here is going to be to jump into ClickFunnels and have a look with you guys. So I'm just in my ClickFunnels account here and I'm just in the funnel section but I need to jump across to the account section. Okay, and then in the account section, I'm going to payment gateways. Perfect, and then I'm going to, once it loads there, just wait for that one. We're then going to click connect with Stripe. And just wait for this one to load just a little bit. And then if you already have an account, you can actually sign in up here if you signed up with Stripe. But if you haven't signed up with Stripe and you're willing to start with Stripe right now, then you can just do it through ClickFunnels. So what you want to do is set in all your details about your business here. I'm not actually going to set it up at the moment um, because that will take too long. But basically you put your ABN, ACN, whatever it might be. Talk about your business here. You've got your little drop down menu there. Most of you will be this one if not in a company. So just add all of that, add your address and your website, personal details, credit card statement details, bank your bank details, which are very important, double check those ones. And then um, just the details in here and then click authorize this account. So this is actually setting you up with a Stripe account um, through ClickFunnels. It's actually the exact same thing if you do set it up within Stripe. But if you are in, are already um, have an account with Stripe, then you can just click sign in here and then it'll be the exact same thing. And then what that is going to do is take you back into ClickFunnels once that's set up. And then that will be able to integrate right into your ClickFunnels. Okay, and then once Stripe is set up, it'll take you right back here, which is ClickFunnels again. It'll take you into the funnel section. And what you want to do just to make sure that you're in the right place and that you've got Stripe all connected is account and then payment gateways and just wait for that to load and then in payment gateways you'll actually see that your stripe account will come up here mine is not appearing because i have not set it up within this training video but it should say your name and your stripe account name um, however that might appear just under here and then that'll be all set up so that is a positive confirmation there and then the way you integrate Stripe into actually one of your funnels to actually get going and get those leads coming in is you pick one of your funnels. You now I've got this one that I've just set up as a test that has an actual order form in it. So I'm just going to open this one up. Okay, that finally worked. And then head on over to the order form.
perfect. And then what you want to do is click on products within the order form. And then here I've got no product set up yet, but if you did have a product set up, this is where it would appear. And then you just click add product. And you give it a name like ebook. Give it a, this is exactly how it will actually appear on your page. So I might say, you know, seven steps to better marketing. You know, it's actually going to appear like that on the page. So you want it to look really good and where you can, you know, that's that further convincing of the client that, sorry, of the lead um, that they actually want this ebook. So that's perfect. And then you've got your billing integration. You all, of course, want to click Stripe. It's not actually letting me, and that's another um, confirmation that my account isn't actually connected. If this is happening to you, you need to go back and actually connect Stripe. So that one's just not appearing for me, and it's not going to let me go through with this, but I will show you all the steps. You would have to click Stripe on there. I'm just going to try that one for now. Um, give it a price. I mean, if it's a low price item, you might put it at $10 and just make sure that you're getting the right currency in there. You do not want to be paid in US dollars to your Australian credit card. So we're going to make that uh, AUD. We do not need to put price and display override here and we do not need an add-on at all. And then you just hit create product. Uh, before you do that, you can do you can have a look at the fulfillment email. This is what it's going to be when it um, purchases, it'll then see it, say a thank you message. You can make this bespoke. Thank you for your purchase is a little bit odd. We could say thank you for purchasing my ebook, and you can explain that a little bit more there. Um, perfect, that is fine. That is the HTML, so. And that is fine. I might just put in active campaign into that one. Set it up as add to your email list. And we'll add them to the master list um, if they do opt in. That's fine there. That's create product and there it is and then I'll just show you how that integrates into the page once that's all set up Let's just go back to the overview of the funnel here and in that funnel page now if we open that funnel page up into a new tab there it is they can easily click on that it's ten dollars enter their email enter their credit card and all of the fields needed there and then click complete order and obviously nothing is set up so that won't go through exactly how we planned it but of course this was just a test page and that's all the training we have for today thanks for sticking with me guys hope you learned something thanks